Say I've been grinding for a long time. Went through trials and tribulations, shit. I still kept a strong mind. I put it all on the line. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Think so much that my brain hurt and see stars in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I made something out of nothing. Had to run on my money. Had to run on my money. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. So I told y'all I was going to install the actual air tank. Not the air tank. Oh, this nigga's, this nigga's really give me one with a freaking hole in it. He think he's slick. He gonna put it on the opposite side so I wouldn't see it. But, uh, going to install this train horn. Damn, I hope this thing ain't chrome, man. I'll be pissed off if it's chrome. It's probably chrome. If it's chrome, man, honestly, I want to get it temporary mounted. Ugh. And I'll probably get it powder coated. But let me see. Put it right here. Pretty heavy, pretty, pretty heavy. All right, so it has all the bolts, which is this is the fuse for the compressor, which is good. Uh, probably won't be using these bolts. I will be using self-tap screws. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what the heck this crap is on here. All this stuff. Uh, so this is a 1.5 gallon tank. This is all the positive and negative stuff you need. And ground and positive, of course. And then you just go to a 12 volt uh, battery, and you gotta put a switch on this. This right here is just the tank, the part that goes to the actual uh, horn, which is what I'm sitting on. Like I said, this is a 1.5 gallon tank, 12 volts, 18 amps, 120 PSI, uh, 150 uh, 50 PSI of the tank, max tank, uh, working pressure is 120, uh, on and off. So. It says on and off PSI switch is 90 to 120. So when it gets under 90, it, it goes up to 120. But the max is uh, 150. So let's look at this horn. I hope it's not chrome, man. I promise you, if it's chrome. Oh, it's black. Thank you, Jesus. Damn, this horn is huge. Dog, oh, look how big this one is. Damn. This thing is freaking huge. Golly.
I didn't expect the horn to be that huge. So what I'm about to do, guys, I'm about to take my spare tire off. I need to close my door. I don't know. Man, look at my car. My car is a freaking wreck, man. But I'm about to take the spare tire off, guys, and throw it in the, in the tailgate. I mean, in the bed, and then call it a day for that. But, yeah, let me go take the spare tire off real fast. Y'all want to watch? Okay, I'll let y'all watch. All right, guys, so I uh, got that spare tire removed. If you want to know how I did that, you have to literally go to the video. So if I do this, I just got to see where I want to put this damn tank at. Cause this is a good spot right here to be honest on oh, the spare uh, spare tire bracket it did yeah this is a really good spot yeah that's a real good spot right there I'll have to see where I'm gonna put the actual tape The hardest part right here. <sighs> See if I put this here.
All right, guys. It don't look like I'm going to be actually putting this up. So Monday, uh, so Monday, I'm going to have to go. Get something made to weld a bracket on here because I want the compressor to sit sideways so you won't be able to see it, and I want the train horn. I don't know. I wonder, could I just do the compressor over there? It's just too damn, the compressor's too god dang big, man. It's just freaking huge. I was thinking about should I just put it on the frame over there. But this compressor is not small, so it's actually huge. Uh... And I don't think it can fit in between there. I don't want to put it in between there and anything. And then the exhaust is too close over there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have to get a, a bracket made or something. So, I can actually do it. So, what I want to do is I want to have the well from here to here. And the bracket hang down a little bit. So, they can put that on there. I might just have them actually weld uh, that to the bracket. Just weld it to here so I don't have to worry about bolting anything down. And I might just have to weld everything, honestly. Uh, so let me show y'all how I want it. So I want it to sit up like this, just like that. And then. Uh, I'll let the train hard. I want the train horn sit like this. So I will have to have a bracket made and this is steel so I'm just gonna have the weld from here to here, something like that, I don't know. Yeah, because I don't want you to see it but you underneath here. Or I could just loosen this up, bring it on top, and zip tie that. So that won't be in the way. And just have to weld a whole freaking sheet. Or I could just do a self tapping screw. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. I'll see you Monday. So. With that being said, guys, I'll come back to this video on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I don't know yet. Man, I really kind of piss. But yeah, powder coat look good. Don't know that. Powder coat. Dirty as hell, but still look good. But I'll see y'all when I come back and finish this video, guys. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. So, as you can see... In an early part of the video, I had to get an actual bracket made for the F-150, the boosted F-150, for the actual, um, for the, the train horn, right? So, I got the bracket made. The same people who made the bracket for the uh, Beats uh, by Dre in the back made this bracket as well. But let me go ahead and get everything. I don't know where my keys at.
All right, guys, so how I'm going to mount this, and I hope this thing isn't too freaking heavy for my truck, which I'm pretty sure it is, but hold on. How the train horn is going to be mounted just like this. So, if you look at the, if this is the bottom of my truck, it's going to be mounted just like this. So, this just needs to be upside down. So, what I'm going to have to do, guys, I want to put holes in here, bolts and all that, and then I want to put vibration, some rubber vibration or some foam type vibration thing. Um, this thing is heavy, man. It's going to add... 50 pounds to the back of my truck, maybe 75 pounds. Uh, spare tires, probably what? 25, 35 pounds. So I'm adding like 40 more pounds to my truck. But it's all good. So please make sure you stay tuned for this video, guys. So I want to actually spray paint this thing black. And I didn't get it powder coated, man, because honestly, I felt like it was honestly a waste of money, man. Um, and the reason why I went and got this bracket made, I, I just wanted to to be secure. Um, I wanted the um, it's hot as hell. I wanted to. I just don't. I just don't want it to fall, man. I don't want. Now I could have mounted this uh, train horn easily, but I had a problem with the compressor, and I wanted all to be kind of close to each other. And then what else I'm going to do with this? Um, so, you know, in the back of my truck, it, like in the back of the truck, it has a key, keyhole where you actually move the spare tire down. I'm going to hook up where, like, if my tire go flat, if I need some air in my tire, I can actually just put in a line right there and then put air in my tire, stuff like that. So, and that's going to be run off that compressor too. Um, but stay tuned for this video, man going to be coming soon. I just got to spray paint all this, get some degreaser, clean it, spray paint it. And I'm leaving it black just like this because I didn't want to freaking have to clean this crap when it gets dirty and all that. But stay tuned for that video, man. This is Robert. You're on the budget, guys. Peace.